Welcome back everybody to another Booster Cracking Sunday. Today we are getting back to the Force of Will grind with Seven Kings of the Land. This is one of the series from back in the day and I haven't opened up the Seven Kings box in quite some time so it's going to be fun to go back through and relook at some of the dope cards in here. Maybe go for some nice stamped foils. So if you guys enjoy the card openings and you want to see more make sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video and comment below. Let's get to opening. Boop! There we go. Seven Kings of the Lands. We've got Alice Grayson here, the cover of the box. Let's get it open. What will we find? What will we find? It's been so long that I can't even remember most of the like good pulls in this set, so it's going to be kind of like going in blind almost. The packs themselves looking nice and crisp. Let's get it. We'll put the box off to the side. We'll just grab a stack of packs and we'll start getting into it. As per usual, since we have opened this box a few times before, we're going to kind of do the skippy-doo to the end here just to kind of see what our rare nice pulls are. That's what we kind of mainly go for. We got Petrifying Gaze. And that's it. Okay, how does this one work again? Oh, the rare was right there. All right. I'm already forgetting how the packs are set up. Hilarious. Oh, man, look at that classic little artwork. Oh, my goodness. Power supply. Now it just makes me want to kind of go through this one. Little Angel, the Phantom Beast, Elite Commander, Heavenly Garden. All right. We got Sacred Beast. That's our super rare. And then we've got Necromancy of the Undead lord as our foil nothing too crazy yet but that's okay it's gonna take some time and i oh man I'll, maybe i'll just go through like this because these old cards are so classic that was our rare wasn't it yes it was that was paradise of the on the ocean shangri-la paradise on the ocean and we've got our little beaver boy phantom beast as the foil i can't even remember if you can get god packs in this set i'm not sure nothing in this one not a god pack but we do got a fancy Alice little guardian. Who do we got here? He gaze. Oh, some nice, nice stuff. We got Charm of the Princess as the rare of the pack. And then we get Fear of Battle with our first J Ruler that was sitting right at the top of the box. We've got Prisia, the commander of the sacred beast. That is stellar. Wow. Can you get the full arts in here? Yeah, you can get full art stamps. So this has got that huge, ginormous body of text to it, which is just crazy. But I love this artwork. The Beast Lady, Prisia. Do I have this one even? Oh, I might not actually, surprisingly. This is a beautiful looking J Ruler though. I just wish, man, that text. It's so crazy. It's like 70% of the card here. We'll put her on display here as we go to the next pack. Let's see what we can get in this one. We're going to get all our Jabblers at the beginning of the box, or are we going to save one for the end? Let's find out. We've got Merlin as the rare, our Wind Magic Stone, and then the beautiful Horn of Sacred Beasts, the classic, classic card. A lot of people played with this card uh, in many different decks as far as what I've seen. Never played with this one personally, though. Another one. Let's get it. Come on now, we've got the Sprinting Wolf. Very nice. Ooh, Herald of the Undead Lord. Hello. Give me a full art stamp to view if that's possible. Let's see. We've got Deep Blue Phantom Board. Deep Blue the Phantom Board. A Regalia. Rare. Very, very nice. And we've got the Darkness Magic Stone. And we've got Snow White, the Valkyrie of Passion, as the super rare very nice foil. Keep it going. We're getting the super rare foils now. That means we're heating up. The box is going. We did get a J ruler, so I can't really say that too much, but we get Maribel, the steel doll. We're off center here a little bit. Regalia rare. And then we get the celestial wing seraph. Love this card. Love the look. Oh man, such a classic one in a nice super rare. I think there's another set where they reprinted this one too. Was it Alice Origins, I believe, or something like that? Beautiful card though. Love the artwork and just a lame little soul hunt foil at the end. Whee! There it is. Let's see it. We've got Fear of Battle. Yes. Give Wings. Scion of Ancient Lore. Whoa. You're a crazy looking card too. Behemoth. The Earth Eater. We've got Darkness Magic Stone. And we get, ooh, the classic Death Sight. The Life reaper rare foil look at how stellar that foiling is with that border aspect oh it's nice oh it's good love the look of this card it's such a ba card man great job with this one force of will man you hand them an item card or something like that and they just know how to do the artwork so well that it's still an engaging card even if it's just like an item or something like that war dance of the valkyrie special armor we got the deep blue boy once again 
and we get the darkness magic stone and we get endless night common no uncommon foil pulling out more packs so let's get into it Ooh, that one was trying to reveal itself a little bit let's get a little closer to the camera whoa Elsa's little assault force that don't look little that looks crazy the evil eye we got sacred beast once again the classic sacred beast water magic stone and maribel the steel doll the regalia rare in the foil that's a good hit that is a sharp looking card classic classic maribel blazing let's get it okay bang 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 one of anything to note in this one we've got prissia there we've got the death scythe one more time the life reaper and we get wind magic stone with the special armor uncommon let's keep it going let's see what this one is honestly gotta appreciate the dragon of certo this is some dope looking artwork haven't appreciated that one enough love re looking at these older sets they just did some stellar job of some of these things we got the sacred beast bahu and then little angel of armala and we got something else behind it oh it's rezard the j ruler rezard the desecrating vampire man check out that blue foiling up at the top right looking sick oh excellent excellent card let's flip it around here we got rezard the undead lord again great looking artwork really sharp really clean and I, i'm a fan of how he looks in this set not always a fan of rezard and his looks and what he's gone through as far as change over the sets and years uh but this one i dig he's super ba he's got the huge scythe that's glowing green he's got the crazy wings it's pretty dope but that is our second j ruler let's get it crap and it always flip flops too i can't remember if we get two j rulers or three in these older sets i believe we get more in the older sets for j rulers so we might get another one here fire magic stone and there is our first <laughs> our first stamped foil the <laughs> phantom of primogenitor that is our first foily stamped boy he looks pretty ba too honestly but that's crazy. We've went through a lot of packs. Haven't found a foil stamp, but this is the first one. Now we're just going to start hitting them left and right. I'm pretty sure because that's kind of how it goes. The flow of getting stamps is like once you break that seal, the floodgates are open. Celestial Wing Seraph, give me the foil stamped of you. Soulless Soldier. Very nice. Nothing else though. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see it. We've got Protection of Seraph. Mm, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad artwork. Uh, this one's always annoyed me, honestly. The sloths in the background. I don't know, something about the face and the eyes. Eh, it just doesn't look quite right to me. I don't know, that one's never done it for me. Horn of Sacred Beast is our nice looking Regalia Rare. Light Magic Stone and Sprint of the Beast Lady riding her giant tiger into battle. Here we go again. Let's see it. So we've got Give Wings, a classic card. How are we pulling these? We got the Cities, Dance of the Valkyries, uh, the Sacred Beast once again, double up on that one, Fire Magic Stone, and Uboros, the Snake of Reincarnation. That is a clean looking foil, although I'm not a fan of the look of this dragon. It's pretty plain. Where are the rest of our foiled stamps? Man, that pack opened up so smoothly. It was like butter just slipping through my fingers there. Phantom, Primogenitor, we've got Hunter of Souls, so we should have one more card. Bruh. Holy crap a moly, how on earth did we get two? Two of Prissia, Commander of the Sacred Beast. That is actually. I've never seen that before, like double ups of J rulers in a box. That's really strange. Let me just make sure there's nothing different. I have never seen that. I've never seen double ups of J rulers. That's pretty unlucky, honestly, because usually, you know, you only need one of these per deck, uh, only one J ruler. So it's kind of like, it's a negative if you get double ups, honestly, per box. You want to see a spread of nice J rulers. That is really wild that we just got two of them no really big differences or anything like that that i see it's not stamped that is weird okay and that's our third j ruler i don't really know where to go from here that is just a wild coincidence that we got two of prissia herself i don't know has anybody else seen that back in the day did you pull double j rulers i don't think that's ever happened to me before we've just got heavenly garden of armala nothing special now i think it would be more possible to get like a prissia and then like a uber rare prissia double and then you know it's still a different card because it's an uber rare but this is just a double up of the same exact we got death scythe the life reaper cinderella 
that's a super rare Valkyrie of glass. And then, oh, just clockwork, clockwork soldiers. Kind of a neat looking card. It's just a common though. Where are our foil stamped though? That's what I wanna know. Like this is crazy that we're not seeing more foiled stamps. This is a weird, odd box if I've ever seen one. That is just, this is just wild. There we go, holy cow, I was getting worried. Cinderella, the Valkyrie of glass in a foil stamped. That's a wonderful looking card. That looks sick. I don't think I have that one either from when I opened this a while ago. That's an excellent little addition. The full art is really gleaming and beaming on this one too. That is a really sharp looking rainbowed hollow. Really, really nice. Okay, double up of the J rulers and only two of the foiled stamps thus far. They're all hiding at the bottom of the box. We got red binding of fate regalia. Uh, how do you say that one? Glenapir, Glenper, Glenapir? Something like that, light magic stone. Okay, not the best of the foiled stamps you can get, that's for sure. Shangri-La, the paradise on the ocean. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty looking island floating in the ocean, but it's not the foiled stamps you want, but that's okay. It is another foiled stamp, and we were getting worried about those. Keep them coming, keep them coming, it's fine. You know, we'll get better ones than more Shangri-Las, unless this is just a crazy double box, and then... I don't know, then we're just super unlucky, honestly. Medusa, the Dead Eye of Petrification. Sick card, love the artist on these. And what do we got? Oh, the one that, <laughs> Sailor of Shangri-La foil, the one that I was annoyed by. Okay, all right, I would say after this pack, we've gone through probably like 70% of the box. So yeah, man, everything is just hiding at the bottom. It would say Maribel, Steel Doll once again, Wind Magic Stone, and no, nope, no foil stamped again. That is crazy. This is just an uncommon foil. All right, pulled out another stack of the packs. Let's get into it here. We're just going to go from there. We've got Glenipur, the Red Binding of Fate once again. We got Water Magic Stone, and we got another duplicate of the freaking foil beaver. Come on. That is wild sauce right now. We got a cruise and groove here. Steel Doll, once again, Uboros, Snake of Reincarnation. All right, this was a rare into a super rare into a... Alice Little Guardian. Mm, this box is tripping me up. It's tripping me up, throwing me off. What are we going to do with this thing, man? Let's just get some luck here. We got that Life Reaper once again, the Darkness Magic Stone. And we got Charm of the Princess, a very classic looking card, uh, but nothing too special. Uh, it is a rare, at least, which is good, but it's not like a crazy card or anything. We want the crazy cards we want the ubers and nonsense obviously i don't think we'll get lucky in this box if this is our luck so far but we do get snow white the valkyrie of passion that is a good pickup right there i love that look that one's excellent it's gonna go great right against the cinderella foil stamp that we just got in this box too so that is lovely 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 the full art is fantastic with these really good fourth stamped i don't remember how many we're supposed to really get per box but you know we still got plenty of packs to go here we still got maybe i don't know 10 more packs or something like that let's get this one out we got the little angel and we're gonna dive to the back we've got our progenitor our fire magic stone and our next little stamped is zuku the sacred beast i'm saying that incorrectly i'm 100 sure but there it is it's our phoenix bird looking beast creature and yeah i'm never a fan of the phoenix or bird card so this is whatever to me we could do better with those foiled stamps but i just grabbed the middle row stack of packs to the end of the box there he is again that's hilarious actually fire magic stone and charm of the princess in the foil stamped look at that okay and this one doesn't even need that full art because there's barely any text on the card as it is which is hilarious but all right what are we on now we're on this is our sixth foil stamped we probably, I think, maybe get like two more or something like that. If we get more than that, that would be excellent. But I know we're not supposed to like, I don't think we get more than 10 foiled stamps unless you get crazy lucky or something. Let's see though, is there a particular count? That's our rare. We got the winged lore. We've got the spirit beast of Yadrazel, the crazy cute little super rare raccoon or squirrel, squirrel, I guess you could see. Foresee, I didn't foresee that didn't foresee this double Prissia. I really feel like we got screwed out of our final third J ruler or whatever, if that's our final third one. I can't remember if we get four or three in these, 
but that is crazy. But we got Cinderella Vac Valkyrie of the glass. Just a normal foil, but still looks stunning. Even just in the normal foil, it's a nice card. All right, we got this pack, and then we just have the last few from the lucky left side. What will we find in the lucky left side? But first we get a nice Death Scythe Life Reaper in the foil, which I'm pretty sure we got this in a foil already, right? Yeah, we commented on it. So this is a duplicate, but it's more common to see the rare duplicates than anything else. The lucky left side is sitting right here. We've only got four packs left in the stack from that side. So let's do it. We'll keep the packs out right here. We're gonna gun through it, see if we can get a couple more of the foiled stamps, Dignified Seraph. We've got Merlin, Water Magic Stone, and Heavenly Garden of Armala. Not a great start. Third to last. Let's see it. Can we get a final J Ruler pull? We've got the Charm of the Princess once again. Water Magic Stone and... Ooh, okay, we do get four J Rulers and we got a foil stamped full art J Ruler. We've got Arla, the Hegemon of the Sky in a foil stamp. Beautiful, beautiful card. Love the look of this dude. He looks sick. The artist does a just fantastic job with this one. Arlo the Winged Lord, the classic Winged Lord. He's just sitting, perching, kind of looking Assassin Creed style or something, I don't know. And then, bam, stunning, breaking through the clouds with his flaming, crazy looking arrow nonsense. This is a sick looking foiled stamp. I was hoping we were guaranteed one foiled stamp J Ruler, and I think that's how it works. You'll get like three other ones and then one full art foil stamped, which is nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's a reason why we call it the lucky left side, because you know what? Sometimes it just saves our box, you know? We seem to be having a bad box, and then it's like, wait a second, check that left side. Those packs are guaranteed to give you some good stuff. Death Scythe, Life Reaper, Light Magic Stone, and Medusa Foil. Sick card, love it, love it. Love the artist, love the artwork. It's really nice, but the foil isn't super strong in this one. We got to get it in a stamped. But now we've got the final pack of the Seven Kings of the Lands. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, give me something crazy. Let's just take a walk down the memories here with Clockwork. Alice, we got Heat Gaze, Branch of Yadrazel, Rapid Growth, Classic Magic Gathering ripoff card. We've got the Evil Eye, Temptation, Scion of the Ancient Lore. Glepnir, the Red Binding of Fate is our Regalia Rare. We've got, ooh, Spirit Beast of Yadrazel is our super rare. Does that mean we're going to get something good? <laughs> ooh, hey, all right, I'll take it. It's a foil of Herald of the Undead Lord. We were calling you out at the beginning of the video, weren't we? Yes, we were. Yes, we were. Senpai! Sick art, sick art. Love it. Well, at the end of the day, we've only got the six foils stamped. The nice ones here, the Charm Princess, the Sacred Beast. We got the Snow White. Shangri-La, Cinderella, and the Phantom. And then, of course, our seventh foil stamped was our Arla J Ruler. And then, of course, we also got our weird double up Prisias. And then we've got Rezard here. So pretty weird, interesting box. But you know what? I think we pulled out all right with the rest of the box and what we got. Uh, maybe we could have done a little bit better, but this is a nice card to get in a nice foil stamp. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. That's going to do it for today. If you stayed all the way to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Thank you once again. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and a like, and we will catch you guys in the next video.